especially because you're working on yourself and that concept of constant and never ending improvement kind of prevails there at the same time, you know, like you're doing one more thing that can improve your life a little bit more. And I'm sure that everybody experienced the situation in life where you said the wrong thing and then the situation <laughs> completely changed in like one second, sometimes even because of one word and you were like, no, <laughs> why did I say that? You know, so optimizing words, sentences, thinking styles. I think that's super important. Just look at public speakers or, or politics or people in media, you know, like one sentence, one word can sometimes change a whole career that you've been building for 20 years, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it definitely has an impact. Um, I would say it's easy. Some, some parts are easy to get into. Like, um, you can make anchoring very easy for, let's say, uh, you do a snapping sound after a word that you want to anchor for something that's like a positive emotion, you know, and hear the, that to me sounds exactly as the concept of the uh, Pavlov's reflex, you know, you mm -hmm. ring a bell for a dog when you give him food and then 50 times later you do that every day on the 51st time you ring the bell uh, without giving the dog food and it will start creating saliva and be extremely yeah. happy because the sound got connected to the good feeling of eating food right so um some of these concepts are kind of already proven you know but yeah hey um it's it's not in um lecture books right now as far as i know just because it's not it's, it's still young it's like what 20 years 30 something like yeah, that 70s in 70s and we started yeah. All right, so it's so, more than yeah. I thought, but yeah. it is. But there are a lot of schools, and yeah, it's more like business oriented. It probably works in practice, like it works for some people, as you said. So yeah, it's it's yeah. it's generally good stuff to if you are in sales or in uh, human resources or anything. Mm. It's good to try it, you know. So yeah, hey, but um, I don't know a lot about it. So <laughs> just uh, just basics. Like I was on few courses that generally talked about it mm, yeah um look man generally improving your life and going to courses and learning about new things i think in my opinion it's like the best thing that you can do as from a, from a personal development perspective for your life in general like if you would if i would have to pick one thing it was just learning new things because the world is changing so fast, like you need new things all the time. As you said in programming, like you're learning, 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 and then somebody discovers, a, they, they create a new programming language and you're like, come on, another one? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. The updating, always new info. Somebody broke through on something and now they find a, a 10 times easier way to do something. And you're like, oh, where was this five years ago, right? So constantly learning is something that will impact your life the most, in my opinion. I agree. I agree. Yeah, that's that's a wonderful idea. And there is also idea like formal education is going uh, to make you living and informal education is going to make you rich. And uh, I think Jim Rohn said that. And uh, I'm going to add on it like uh, continuous informal education on certain fields. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip.